In this video, I want to show you how to create nebula using Blender EV Render Engine. Of course, I have put a link of the project's files for you in the description and you can download them for free. But this tutorial can be very useful if you want to create your own nebula. First, select this light and then press Alt G to clear its location. Then set the light power to 15 and change its color. Then select the cube, switch to render mode and go to the shaded, shader editor section. Delete the principal BSDF and add a volume scatter and connect volume to volume. Add the volume absorption node. Then add an add shader and connect the volume absorption to the shader. Set your volume scatter color to a bluish color. Then set your volume absorption color to a yellowish color. Add a geometry node. Add two noise textures. Then connect the position to the vector and Connect the color to the vector. Add the color ramp and connect factor to factor and connect the color to the densities of both volume shaders. Hold shift and press the right mouse button and drag the mouse like this. This is how you can sort the nodes. Set the scale of this noise texture to 0.85, set its details to 8 and Change the distortion to 0.2. Now select the color ramp and change the position of the black handle to 0.5. Add a math node and place it here. Set this to multiply and change the value to a very large number like 300 or 400. Then press Shift D and duplicate the math node and this time set the function to add. Finally, change the value to 0.75. Also, if you want to add more depth to the clouds of this nebula, you can add a handle and move it near the black handle. Now we can duplicate this light and add different lights with different colors to our scene. This will def definitely make our scene look very cool. But now you see that I cannot select the lights easily because they are placed inside the cube and that's why my cube is selected. To solve this problem, click on the filter here and then enable the selectable option. And now disable the selectable feature for the cube. With this method, we can easily select the lights and duplicate them or change their power and color. Now go to render properties and here from the volume settings, change end to 10 meters. Then activate the volumetric shadows checkbox. Also set the background color to black. 
Before we render the scene, let's add the stars first. Press Shift A and add an isosphere and set its subdivisions to 1. Create a new material for it. Delete the principal BSDF and add an emission shader. Add an, add an object info node and add a color ramp. Then connect random to factor. Set interpolation to constant and connect color to color. Now change the colors of the color ramp handles or add new handles and change their color. Finally, set the emission strength to 10. Now press Shift A and add a cube. Go to particle settings and add a new particle system. Change the type of particles to hair. Go to source and here change emit from to volume. This causes the particles to be placed where our object occupies the space, not on the faces of our object. Render as object and select isosphere as instance object. Disable the show emitter checkbox. Then change the scale to 0.002. Set the scale randomized to 0.5 and set the number of particles to 400. If you want to make our particles even smaller, select the object itself and scale it. Well, now we are, the, we are done creating the nebula. I'm going to just find a good angle and render the scene. Before I render the scene, I, sh I should mention that if you want your nebula to have better resolution, change the tile size to 2 pixels. Of course, if your PC is not powerful enough, you can set the tile size to 4 pixels. Hello guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.